making sure I have this done. Now we back to the beginning. Sam Denae, the legendary government watchdog against Media Mouse's. I'm re video recording this operation because the cameras have been have been uh, somewhat defective recently. Nothing against the operators. So I'm just putting my own YouTubes out here for my own YouTube so you can see the wonderful people at the county commission meeting. There they are, everybody smile. At any rate, I was, uh, for the last several months, I, among other things, I have been demanding that the Reno City Council hire Jason Soto as the permanent police chief. He has proven his abilities. He has the backing of virtually every police officer that I've talked to. As a matter of fact, the uh, Reno City Council has been so derelict in appointing me as the per permanent chief that last week I went to the podium and I took the obligation of swearing that man in myself. As a representative of Jason Soto, I solemnly swear that I will support, protect, and defend the United States Constitution against all enemies, foreign domestic, so help me God and Sam. At any rate... So I did that last week at the um, podium, swore it in, it's on YouTube, it's everywhere, and the Reno Media Mouse Gazette is so afraid and jealous of Jason Soto and Sam Denae that they immediately put out headlines, three days later, headlines claiming that Jason Soto is not qualified to be the chief of police of Reno. I have watched all of the chiefs of police of Reno for the last five year, uh, 20 years, and I guarantee you, Jason Soto is as qualified as any of those people. The Reno Gazette media mouses should be disbanded. They are a taxpayer-funded operation, and, and they, they're anti-military, and they are election manipulators, and they should be dismantled immediately. This is more proof of how how cowardly and jealous they are of Sam Denae, who is the person who actually reports the truth in our community. So help me God and Sam.